Before Makers Academy, I was being a mum, and before that I was working in publishing. And around the time that I first heard about Makers, um, I was setting up a, a business uh, to do book campaigns, as well as trying to figure out how to get into coding. <laughs> it took kind of taking a break from working, like having my son, to, to begin again and uh, start thinking about how to get into it. And when I was exploring that, that's when I learned about Makers Academy. Um, I thought it was an amazing sounding thing, this opportunity for women to get into technology. Um, I just went for it because, in a way because it seemed so unlikely and because it was something to focus on in, in, during a difficult time. I didn't actually expect it to go anywhere but I thought it would be good to have something to go for, you know, that was completely different from everything else. So much of, it was very, what I was going through, it was hard to escape Everything that was familiar became painful. Um, it's a difficult thing to talk about because it's sort of still, it's really still ongoing and it um, involves my, my son and my daughter, he's due in March. I experienced, you know, uh, the break, I, I experienced a breakdown of a, of a relationship and it involved quite a lot of intervention from like um, police, social services. You know, I mean, I'm surrounded by women who are really engaged and really care. But what I went through, it surprised a lot of them because they just didn't know that something that, that could happen. And I'm someone who's, you know, really aware of my rights and quite articulate and willing to speak up for myself. And you can be all those things and you can still be really let down by the system. And. There is just, I, I, I have seen that the, there is just massive gaps in, in protection for women and children. And I'm glad I know that through what I've gone through because it's something that I'd like to do something about. I, I see the internet and, um, and technology as the main framework for our world today, um, the main way that everyone connects with one another. And rather than just using those technologies, I'd like to be a part of them. I'd like to contribute towards them. Because, because you can connect people so quickly and so powerfully, um, you can really affect change. Things I've encountered that I found lacking in terms of protection for women and children, I have seen ways, and I can think of ways, that understanding technology better would really help with that. My family and friends have been really supportive of of me getting the scholarship. I mean, in a way, they're why well, I managed to get it in the first place because I have a young child and everyone pitched in and helped me look after him. And they're really excited because they saw that I was going through something very difficult. And they've seen that through doing this, I've been coming like back, like bit by bit, that I'm more excited about life and the world. If I could go back to exactly one year ago today, and give myself a message. I guess it would be that, yeah, it's, it's, in, it's really interesting to think about that because like a year ago, life was really different. I was in a completely different place, different circumstances. And I guess I tell myself that my world was about to open in a way that I could never imagine and in a way that would bring me a lot of um, happiness, hope and excitement.